What is up, y'all? Thanks for stopping by. If it's your first time, I'm Jeffro, and this is Jeffro's Fish Keeping. On today's video, I show you how I cycle new aquariums and how speed is not of the essence. Most of the time in new fish keepers, they go to the store, they pick out an aquarium, they pick out filtration, they pick, it, pick out decorations and substrate and chemicals and then they pick out their fish and they go home and they set it all up and they put their fish right in and that's not right you're not supposed to do it that way and today I'm gonna to show you how you really should do it and how I do it and hopefully you guys enjoy all right y'all what I'm doing in the fish room today is these tanks right here You've seen them in one of my last videos they are due they've been going for a week and um, just want to show you guys how I see all my tanks so um, I'm gonna grab some sponge filters and uh, basically what I do is take some sponge filters that I've had seeded in my other aquariums and I take the top and the bottom off And if you can see this tank right here, you just take it down in there and you squeeze it out. This one was in bad need of being cleaned out. The only bad thing about this one is it was in a hospital tank, so it did have some meds in it. But I am going to um, change all the water in these today too. I basically want to just try to see all my aquariums and um, my best aquarium in my whole out of all my fish rooms is one that I seeded for probably about six weeks and it does better than all my other aquariums. It seems like I'm always fighting something with all my other aquariums. But that one seems like it is just pretty much golden. So basically, you do a sponge chain, or basically you do a sponge cleaning right into your aquariums. And in about an hour or so, your sponge filters that are in there, they suck it all up. And there's no worry about ammonia spikes in these tanks right now because I don't have any livestock in them. This is only a weekend to having the water in the tanks. After the water clears here in about an hour or so, I'll do like 75% water changes. Then next week, do like a 75% water change. And uh, I'm not doing this to necessarily speed up the process. I'm basically doing it to clean my sponges and my other tanks while putting some beneficial bacteria and these other sponge filters. I ordered all new sponge filters for all these tanks. So I'm going to do this on all my intake sponges and all my sponge filters that need cleanings. And I won't bore you with all that. I'll probably time lapse through all that. It's been about an hour. One of my buddies came over and we went to lunch. So if you can see, all of the tanks are pretty cleared up. But I've got one more sponge to do. So I'm gonna go ahead and just sink it real quick. Cause it's a nasty one. I'll show you guys. What happens is, all of the stuff that doesn't need to go into the filter just kind of goes down to the bottom. 
but the things that do need to go into the filter filters back in to the sponge filter. It's been about an hour on all these. And I'm going to give you a little close up here. This one is really bad. This one is out of my. Let me get this footstool. Show you this one. This one's out of my crayfish, and it's really bad. It should have been done already, actually. I need to get on a better regimen of doing these. Somebody I was seeing recommended once a month, and that's what needs to happen. But If you do it with your water changes, it's not that bad. So like just rotate them. Probably wouldn't be a bad idea if you did them once every two weeks. But basically, what you do to seed these tanks is this right here. And you don't want to always do this, of course, because if I had fish in these tanks right now, I probably wouldn't be wanting to do this because it will make an ammonia spike in the tank along with the beneficial stuff it's doing. If you was to test ammonia in this tank right now, the ammonia levels would be high because all the waste that isn't supposed to be in the aquarium water is in the aquarium water. So, I don't recommend doing this to tanks that you already have fish in, but if you're setting up a new aquarium and you have some sponge filters that need to be cleaned, go ahead and do this. Some people might tell you that this is not a good idea, but it's it's always worked for me. And something else to keep in mind, I don't I'm not in no big hurry here. Like I don't have to put fish in this aquarium right away. And this one is super bad. I may leave this one soak for a few days and put one of the others that is cleaner <laughs> back in the crawdad one. That means that they put off a bunch of waste. But I have had that tank set up for a couple of months now. And uh, haven't ever cleaned out the filter, so it's pretty much my own fault. Anyhow, I'm gonna finish up on this and uh, let the tank settle and do a water change and then I'll check back in with you guys. Alright, now that we got that all done now we're going to fill the tanks back up and basically what we're doing here is we're changing all the water in the tanks to get rid of most of the waste that came off of the sponge filters that we put in there and what has happened is, is the good beneficial bacteria is getting stuck in the new filters that didn't have any beneficial bacteria at all in them they were just brand new out of the box filters now what we're doing is we're sucking up all bad stuff and then we're putting in fresh water. And we'll keep on doing this over the next four to six weeks until we get them where we want them. And then we can put fish and shrimp into the tanks. But that's what we are doing right now. And I'll probably just time lapse it because I don't want to bore you. Guys, 
took about an hour. Yep, right at an hour, straight up an hour to change the water in all of these and um, you know, drain it and fill each one. I just got done like five minutes ago, so they're in various stages of clearing up, various stages of bubbling up. But one week in, one week down, only about five more to go. And then I can start adding fish and shrimp to these things. So that is how you seed a new tank. All right, what'd you guys think? Uh, it's very important that you know that sure these big box pet stores fish stores whatever you want to call them they're all about selling the stuff that they have and you'll find some that are good that try to tell you it's really best to set up your aquarium first and I will be honest I have set up aquariums and put in fish really quick and doing this method does speed it up you could put fish in in a week probably I could probably put fish in there right now I've had these tanks going for over a week but I have found in my experience that the longer that you cycle your aquariums before you put fish in and get the the tank cycled and really fully set up good the better your fish will do the better your water quality will be the better your whole ecosystem goes and that is how it works for me and hopefully you guys learned something and uh, thanks for stopping by my channel today if it is your first time and you're not a subscriber make sure and hit the subscribe button and while you're at it hit the bell notification I'm uploading videos right now on Mondays and Thursdays and I'm also live streaming on Saturday nights at 8 o'clock thanks for stopping by hopefully you guys enjoyed and we'll see you on the next one. Peace out, y'all.